Eman. Better name that she's probably known by the most is Celestial Susan. And Celestial, I can I can see why. You don't know me, and that's fine, and I don't know you. And based on your accent, I think you're in the UK somewhere. But my name's Shavar Madden. I'm a personal trainer. I'm a husband. Father of two kids. Combat vet here in America. Personal trainer certified. Working on certification as a registered dietitian. And a list of other goddamn things that I do outside this sphere here. The world of YouTube, so to speak. I came across you today because I went and checked out Scott Herman's latest video. It was about 10 days old. I said, I ain't seen Scott Herman in a while. I'm going to go see if he uploaded any content. I go on Scott Herman's channel, and lo and behold, it's you. And I say, you know what? Let me see is this person on YouTube. I don't do TikTok. I search your name on YouTube and see you've been around for over 11, 12 years. There's been documentaries on you, all types of shit. Now, I find it hard to believe that you believe you're healthy, number one. Number two, you sit up there and say you eat up to 30 to 40, maybe 50,000 calories in a day. I don't think that's that's humanly possible at all. I I, 10,000, maybe at the most 15,000. I, I, can, I can see someone your size eating that much. Your husband said he's okay with feeding you a dozen eggs a fucking day and a tons of other fucking shit, all right? You went to a doctor. Doctor straight up said on camera, you are playing Russian roulette with your life. I recommend no one get this big. Whereas your husband said y'all went to a doctor and the doctor asked, what are you doing here? And then... Your husband said, y'all, you know, you're pretty much healthy. You know, I look at people like Emily Marie who lies about every fucking thing. April Lauren fake crying about going to Hawaii. She's leaving Atlanta, leaving Georgia. I live in Metro Atlanta. I love the state of Georgia. And I'm from Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, but the peaches out here are just tasteful. I love the state of Georgia. But Hawaii is a whole nother country. It's a whole, it's a state, but it's a whole, it's, 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 it's own oasis in America. It's beautiful out there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And she's crying about going to Hawaii. You should be worried about weight loss, which you are doing horribly, by the way. You actually been gaining fucking weight. You got the Fruity Booties of the world eating for. You got Lizzo, who make all black women, in my opinion, look bad as fuck. All right? Saying, don't mock me, but yeah, put her fat ass all on social media for everybody to see. You got lying ass Tess Holiday, who's anorexic, lying bitch. Don't. You got the nigga Kyle Avocados. You got the, the pedophiles like fucking Wings of Redemption. You got Boogie2988, who just got his face pummeled by Wings of Redemption. All you obese fuckers need to listen to what I'm, I'm, I'm about to say, okay? Especially you, Celestia. You, you, right now, you are on. You, you're the worst of them all. You want people like me, who used to be overweight, damn near obese, to accept you because you love yourself enough. To be that fucking fat. I realized since I've been healthy and getting in good shape, I've look, I'm proud of service, everyone. Combat vet, Iraq war vet, right? I smoked a lot when I was in the military, but I did a lot of cardio, right? But I'm in the best shape of my life at 18 years later at age 36. The 36 year old me can run circles and then some around 18 year old me that went into the military. Right? That's 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 not a lie. I'm being completely honest. 
I got fat as fuck when I got to the military because all I did was drink, eat, eat out, made babies with my wife, fat as fuck. But then health issues started happening in my family that woke me the fuck up. And my kids and my wife spurred me. They motivated me. This is why I do what I do. Okay? I put them first. And if I'm not healthy, I can't take care of them, let alone myself. Healthy in the mind, even though I got post traumatic stress, but overall, healthy as a person. That's loving yourself. All you obese motherfuckers out there that sit there and say you love yourself, love the way you are, that's a desperate cry for fucking help. Okay? And you are so, so much enveloped in pride and the money that you get from going viral for being a fat ass that you are rather sacrifice your well-being over doing just what's right, which be even more inspiring and that's getting healthy. A lot of you just figured out with this last pandemic that, you know, it's very hard when the hospital is overwhelmed by obese motherfuckers put on ventilators from, from a cold virus. And you couldn't get your meds, you couldn't get all the shit that you needed to, to survive. Some of y'all depend on medication. And yet and still, you gain weight during COVID. Instead of doing the right thing, and that's losing weight during COVID. Right? Now, my problem is this. Here's 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 where shit gets fucking a little bit complicated. Without big motherfuckers, people like me, who's a person trainer, don't I, I am set, by the way, financially. But we depend on you big motherfuckers because we need people of your size to get in the shape. And that's what you pay us for. So we actually need you. But the problem is we know that it's unhealthy. And it seems like the more we try to reach out and change your lives, Yes, we're getting paid, but we want to change your lives so you can be a better person of yourself and then help someone else. Y'all rubbing our face that we love ourselves. Which transitioned over to the medical side of things, healthcare side of things, right? Well, people like me, if I get sick, you might have a bed that I need to lay my ass in. Because you've been there for nine fucking days. Yeah. Celestial Susan is the prime example of a motherfucker that do not care. And she has came to terms with the fact that she don't want to get better. She want to eat herself to death. And that's just what's going to happen. She'll be another statistic. I'm surprised she made it this long. She got her fat ass up on Scott Herman's channel on the TikTok video that he seen and tried to turn around. It took her a while just to make a complete 360. Her walking gait is fucked. She has so much visual fat wearing her down. It, it, it grabbed it. You can see it. She has so much fat around her abdominal area that all the fat up here is being pulled down south. She's a true job of the fucking hut. And she's making fun of people who is in her comment section telling her, please stop. Keep eating. I don't want to help you. Shouldn't nobody want to help someone that thinks a fucking game. Keep eating so I can come back on the motherfucker and say, yeah, Susan Emman, dead at whatever age you is. Massive heart attack. Husband found her crouched over in the bed eating a bunch of bun buns, zebra cakes, and oatmeal cream pies. It's 
it's not hard to get in shape. More activity. Hydration. Watch your food. The very first thing you can do to start losing weight is this. Look at what you're eating and deduct one meal from that. You just create a calorie deficit. Then throughout the day, track how often you move. If you notice that you always lay around, try to move more each hour. So that means get up, walk for five or 10 minutes if that's all you can do. You're creating a calorie deficit. Stop drinking drinks with calories in them. Drink drinks with zero calories. And I know the debate about artificial sweeteners and it can make you hungry because it, it's, it's a sweetener. It, it gives you a taste that can inadvertently spike your insulin. But it's no calories. That's the point. Create the deficit. Stay there for a while. It's going to be uncomfortable. Don't worry about trying to lift weights right now. Slim your fat ass down some. Work on this muscle, the heart, the most important muscle in your body. Then we can talk about resistance training later. When you build up the cardiovascular endurance to stand on your feet for longer than fucking 30 minutes. Then we can talk about doing some squats, body weight squats to start off. No push-ups. Do some curls with very light weight. Some tricep work with very light weight. You know, work on some posterior chain, dumbbell, deadlifts and shit like that. Until we can get you to the point where you can do compound movements and shit. But the first thing anyone should do is create a deficit. Food, hydration, zero sugar calorie drinks, and activity. That is it. That is that simple. Stay in a calorie deficit. If you weigh 300 some motherfucking pounds, just move it more an hour a day. So you can do it in 15 minute intervals. Four times a day. And then don't go binge after you, after you move. Just drink some water. Space your meals out. You create a deficit. When it comes to foods, a little bit more in depth, but that's just to get you started. Now, you may not watch this video, Susan, and the rest of you fat fucks. I really don't care if you do or don't. But if you do, that's the best advice I can give you right now. Prolong whatever little life you have left. Because you are fastly heading to the cemetery. And we all are. I hope to, not to get there for another 30 years. Maybe maybe 60 tops. I want to live to be 60. When I make 60, Lord, give me 30 more. I can see 90. Then you can take me up out of here. That's why I do what I do. I want to be here for as long as possible. Because we all going to go that way. But why expedite your path there? By the choices that you are choosing to fucking make. is beyond me. We all make stupid choices. Hey, I have a supercharged boosted Mustang. I like to drag race down drag strip. I can easily have a malfunction and, and hit the goddamn wall and be out of there. So we all live on the edge. But there's living on the edge for thrill seeking. There's living on the edge for addiction. I'm more of a thrill seeker. I like to speed on the track. It's an addiction. Those two combined can be fatal if you don't understand how to, how to manage it. Same with food. You thrill seek for food and it's an addiction. Two together, it's fatal. So, with that being said, I'm going to get off of here. I, look at these pictures. I want, you, I want you guys to look at this. This was 11 years ago, and then here's a picture that was just recent, okay? Not that long ago, all right? That's not sexy at all. That is death. You're in a wheelchair being moved around from room to room, place to place. That's sad. That's not nothing to be proud of. That you shouldn't love yourself. If I had your life, I would have already done did something about to change my life or I already would have off myself. 
because I couldn't see myself getting that big intentionally like you did. That that that's why I'm so irritated. You chose to get that big. You even admitted that it started out as you wanted to gain 100 pounds. Then you wanted to gain more. Just see how big you can fucking get. This isn't a fucking game. It, it, it really isn't. It's, it's fucking sad. It, it really is fucking sad. But anyway, that's all I got, guys. Leave a comment down below on how you feel about this whole epidemic. Because in my opinion, she's the reading leader. Even though she's been around for more than 11 years now, this is the fact phobia shit right here. This this is factopia. This this shit right here is why people now are obese and are being accepted around the world. Because someone that preaches this bullshit about love yourself no matter what. Love yourself enough to be healthy. You should be able to look down and see your private parts without having to raise up some visual fucking fat to see your private fucking parts. That's that's real. You should be able to have to stand up in the bathtub without your sniffing other having to wash your ass because you're too big and you got too much fat on your ass to reach your hands down between your legs and the crack of your ass to wipe your private parts. I wouldn't want my wife to have to raise up my belly fat to wipe my dick because my 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 T-Rex arms can't get down there because I'm so fucking fat that I'm like this here. I wouldn't want her to, to do that. That's why I take care of my fucking self. And she won't want me to do her like that. That's why she take care of her fucking self. That don't make no goddamn sense, man. You want somebody to love you. You want somebody to love you for being that fucking big. I hate that you're that fucking big. I would love it if you would try to slim some fat off your ass. That's what I would fucking love. That I would love that. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.